Welcome back everybody to the Bread and Burr YouTube channel. Today we're gonna keep making progress on the Champ car. The race is coming up quick, so let's get to it. So if you think what we've done up until now is redneck, this is gonna take the cake. All right, so in the end of the last video, we were pretty tired, but you saw that we took the car and kind of tied it to a tree and gave it a couple of yanks, get some stuff straightened out, um, but it's back on the ground. The brakes are good. Basically, the car is good aside from the exhaust and getting the engine back in it and getting everything hooked up to the engine. Uh, well, so the other thing is we don't have an engine. All in all, today's goal is fairly simple. Um, what we're gonna do is basically get the car cleaned out, get a couple of things hooked up, do a quick test fit on the back half of the exhaust, which I'll explain that in a minute, um, and get the car ready to go to Dino. Um, so that way when he gets the car, he can weld up the exhaust and this mock-up motor that's in it while we build the engine and transmission. I think I kind of covered that in the last video. So basically what we're going to do is just get to work. This is the axle back portion of the exhaust. And what Dino asked me to do was to see if this reaches from essentially the rest of the exhaust to beyond the back bumper. Um, just based on the looks of it, it is not going to. It appears this was intended to have a muffler put on it as well. We are not going to run a muffler on this car. Our muffler is the turbine housing. So um, what we need to do is kind of lay this out get a feel for how it fits on the car and then give him an idea of how much pipe he needs to order um, to add to this uh, to put it on the car essentially and have it clear the back bumper. And I initially asked him just to do a turn down on this exhaust. God, this thing's destroyed from mid-Ohio, what a mess. Yeah, so anyway, um, I was just gonna have him do a turn down right here, but the problem is any of that air coming up from under the car that gets trapped in the rear bumper is just gonna end up right in the body because there's no seals on any of this stuff. So essentially what we need to do is get it out beyond the bumper um, where it can, you know, be not in the car. So yeah, look at that. That Scion hit us into the wall so hard, this exhaust actually bent and it sent. So basically, if you, I don't know if you watched the Mid-Ohio videos, but what happened is a car hit us right there. It's turned us sideways. We went backwards into a tire wall, which is why all this is messed up. None of this was our fault. It hit the exhaust so hard forward that it cracked this flex pipe that we had. And when that flex pipe cracked, it was blasting heat into our clutch bell housing and ruined our clutch. So a rear impact on a car like this um, was a race halting uh, injury to our clutch. So it's funny how that kind of stuff works. Anyway, what we're gonna do now is lay this out, get a feel for how much we need to add to the back of it to get it beyond the back of the car and uh, we'll go from there. Oh boy, that is a stout unit. This is super stout. Look at this thing. That is nice. And that is some pretty thick gauge steel as well. Pretty happy about that. Uh, if it fit underneath my car with a drive shaft, I'd use one, but it won't, so we're going out the hood. Anyway, we need to get this under there. So the first thing I got to do is get that thing up in the air and pull the drive shaft or the drive shaft, the exhaust that's in it out. This could be a little bit of a fiasco. So anyway, here we go. the hangers because we keep using them and they're a mess so that has ruined any chance of that happening again so we'll get some good poly hangers for it get this exhaust out of here and then put the other one in there and do a quick kind of mock-up test fit and just see how much pipe Dino needs to get the exhaust from what I assume will be right about here to the back of the car and actually now that I think about it depending on how bad this muffler is 
maybe we can just set that next to the other exhaust and give them a rough idea and then we can just trim the excess. I don't know. It's really hot. Oh man, I forgot we did this. Yeah, that Scion hit us under the wall so hard it actually ripped this. I don't know how hard and how far you have to pull that to do that. Cause these things will stretch like, I mean, seriously, like this tall. So yeah, he, he blasted us into the wall. I'm still super salty about that situation, but it is what it is. So anyway, I'm gonna hack all that off and then we'll get this out of here. All right, so before I get into the problems that I found, uh, we're gonna look at this real quick. Of course, there's a horse fly in here, raising hell in the window. So that'll be nice to listen to. Anyway, um, as you can see, this muffler is, was spent before we even got to this point. It had already been welded back together. Um, I don't know if I have this on video, I'll try to get it. And if, it, if I do have it, I'll put it in after I explain this. But basically, this muffler, uh, they have just a straight pipe, a perforated pipe inside them. And uh, they are packed with, you know, some sort of fiberglass wool, whatnot, to kind of, you know, dampen the noise as it comes through. At VIR, the weld separated down here and here, and it blew the whole thing out while I was racing. And I thought I broke the header because it got super loud because it was NA at that point. So there was no sound deadening all the way back through. So when we went turbo, it got a lot quieter and we just put this pipe in. And, okay, bye. And tacked it so that it would just kind of go up to there. And it was fine, but it was junk. So it'll be nice to have this on here. All right. So anyway, the lengths of this pipe are... The length of this pipe is semi-adjustable because there's these slip joints that are about that long and you can, you know, extend it as needed. Um, it doesn't have to be bottomed out, which I think is the situation here because if you look, let's level these up a little bit. If you look, we got a straight line through that pipe there, ish, ish. And you see the axles are in two different places here. So what we need to do is kind of extend this back a little bit. Tripod mode, engage. Okay, not bad. That's pretty even. Still fairly even there. Pretty good there. So what we can, you know, gather from this is that this exhaust will fit. It should, Dino, you know, ding it up as needed, but it's a speed factory part. This was not an, an, an inexpensive part. So it should fit just fine. What we need to find out here is if that will exit the back of the vehicle. Nope. So what we need to do is tell Dino we need either some sort of tip or, you know, just a muffler that will get us, or I'm sorry, an extension pipe that will get us out the back of the car as if to be that muffler. So not long enough. He needs to order some more pipe. He already ordered all the stuff for the down pipe up front. I'm sorry, I'm using a new selfie stick and I keep not aiming at the things I'm pointing at over here. So anyway, um, he's going to build us a down pipe, as you have heard. There's no engine in there to leak oil. Oil cooler, maybe? Probably the oil cooler. He's gonna build everything back to there. There'll be a flex pipe and a V-band right there. He'll put in another V-band right here. So that'll kind of help square everything up. Should be nice. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the deal here. So what we're gonna do now is get this exhaust in the car. I've gotten two of the things I wanted to get accomplished done today. So we're gonna break this down, put it in the car. Um, and then from there, we'll put it back on the floor. And I think that was it for the car that I had to get done today. I'm gonna to steal a couple parts off this engine to get the other engine done. Yeah, thing bit me. So we'll get this done and then get it, uh, or we'll get this kind of torn down and get it put into a storage bag and put it you know, on the shelf or something over there. Um, and then what we're gonna do is after the season's over, if the other engine survives, which it should, because it's gonna be one of my black top engines and I will explain that when we're building it. Um, this, uh, this engine will become our E2, which is our spare race engine. So we're just gonna get a spare transmission and have the spare engine. So if we you know, blow anything up on the other engine or it gives us trouble that is gonna be faster to swap the engine, we will have this. So again, bone stock, guy head studs, nothing too special. I am aware that I talk like a madman sometimes. I hope you guys keep up. Um, I do trim out a lot of my random chatter that I'm just, when I just start yammering, I get annoyed with myself and chop it out. Um, but essentially, goal make car run. I lost my hat. So much warmer. It's so hot. It's 90 outside. All right, good. Now that's checked. So we're going to take ICV, throttle body, uh, VTS, and the distributor.
All right, so I think I'm done out here. Um, I went ahead and took the um, thermostat housing and water pipe as well. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some tricks with these things when I go to put them on the car, but this is one of my more special thermostat housings because of this guy. If you watch my K-Series video, you know exactly what that is. Um, did the same thing on this engine, but we'll go over that in the video when we're putting that on the engine. Um, there's a couple more things I'll probably end up taking off of this thing, like this bracket here. Um, I might need this one. I'm not sure if I need the upper alternator bracket. I have no idea if I have timing covers. I think I do. If not, they're fairly cheap. The dipstick I'd rather leave in this engine for now. Um, but yeah, I think we're I think we're pretty good on stuff that I need to steal from this one anyway. So that's good. That thing's been through hell. That is that that engine has had a rough life. So we'll, we'll deal with this thing over winter, um, maybe even before the race if we have time and budget. Anyway, I'm gonna get this get this stuff loaded up and get out of here. Um, this thing is, this car is pretty much ready to go. Um, we might, when we pick it up Thursday to take it over there, we might do a little cleaning um, on stuff like this down here. Like I said, if you watch the mid-Ohio races, you know exactly what that is. And the more that I come out here and look at this thing, the more I love this little car. Um, I do actually need to go to Ace and get bolts for that quick disconnect. I may do that today. Probably not, I'm disgusting. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is just a, it's just a really cool little car. We can be really proud of that cockpit for sure. We can be really proud of the whole car. Um, this thing has been through hell and it still runs like crazy. It's a great little car, but I just love looking at that cockpit. All the work that James and I did on the dash and everything. Dan did all the paint inside the car that made a world of difference. It used to be black and you couldn't see anything. It was so dark in there. So Dan painted it the proper, you know, race car gray on the inside so that you can actually see things when you drop them and you can, you know, it's just, it reflects light. So it's a lot brighter in there. It's really nice, but that cockpit is just something to be proud of in a car like this. And everything behind that dash is just as awesome as what's on it. So really cool. Um, I'll go over all this again for all the guys who don't want to jump back and watch the older videos. But if you are curious what that stuff does, there's plenty of videos that I'll tag right up here in the corner or over here. It's probably going to be right here. Anyway, somewhere up in the top, there's going to be a little information tab that'll point to the videos where all of this was built. Um, it's really worth going back and watching, especially if you're trying to make an EK Civic race car. This, the, the dash is the epicenter of this car and it's really awesome and we're really proud of it. So if you get a chance to go back and watch those videos, I definitely would. With that, I appreciate you guys tuning in for this. Uh, these updates are gonna keep coming. Next time we're working on the car is Thursday. I'll try to have the video out on Friday. Um, race day is coming up, so we gotta keep hot. And uh, this thing's gotta go out for an exhaust on Thursday. So thank you guys for tuning in, I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.